Today's location of choice is the Saugus Ironworks. This place is currently led by Slag, a sadistic raider and his gruesome gang of forged. They use a lot of fire weapons, so be aware that getting close quarters with these guys is just ill-advised. They appear to have a bit of a shop setup going on here, supplying food to all of the members. Unfortunately, you can't use it as they are hostile on site. Which is a bit of a shame. It would have been awesome if they would have been friendly, you could have met Slag and potentially joined. Although they are a little extreme, as we are about to see. Heading on over to this little turret here, we'll control the spotlights in the area before heading on in to the forge. We'll find a bobblehead, a special weapon, and of course a little quest that maybe could save Finch Farm. Made up of four sections, this is the first one with lots of catwalks joining into the next part, which again, more catwalks. The third is the main room with slag in it, and the fourth one, of course, is the roof, although there isn't too many items on the roof. You'll have to fight through quite a number of forged again. They are very good at going close quarters, toe to toe with you and will not hesitate. So be very careful when that happens. Also watch out for the laser rifle trap when you open the first door. Heading up to the second level, you can cut straight through the middle if you can unlock this advanced lock door. Uh, you can't pick it so it's going to have to be through the terminal. Walking across through the offices, there are more forged and plenty of items including a wee lunchbox for you to pick up. Once we get to the other side, the catwalk opens up a little bit and uh, has even a wee trap for you in the form of... Wow, well, nothing actually happened there. I'm assuming it should have been connected to a grenade bouquet, so that's... Ah, if we follow this... Ah, the bouquet didn't trigger. Fancy that. All right. So, let's continue on the catwalks. You could have came up from the other side, if uh, that was your preference. And then, scooting across here, we can get up to the top level of the other half of the building here. And if we mosey on over, dropping down, the last wee room you want to pick up is this. Uh, this terminal does have quite <laughs> the collection. These are people that failed the forge trials, and thus most of them did get fed to the forge. Arsenic here came, or well, cried out while treating wound. Limb amputated, and he was exiled. They were the lucky ones. Chamber here, cheated during the first trial. Offender and family fed to the forge. They did not mess around here. Damage read from or ran from battle. He was fed to the forge. Duke died without permission during second trial and was fed to the forge. Yeah, <laughs> I wondered about that one too. Hood was stealing rations, fed molten iron. Havoc, gave meds to the enemy and was flayed until death. Rampart was allowing enemies to escape battle, branded and exiled. Uh, Rife caught sleeping during watch, eyes fed to the Marlurks, exiled. What's really sad is you never run into anyone, any one of these, and it would have been such a fun encounter. Especially since Riptide here, well, he was fed to the forge because he cried during the last trial. Uh, Viper refused to execute a civilian, so his entire family was executed, then exiled. And Yancey refused to change names, so was fed to the forge. Just a really fun Easter egg uh, to read through. There is a weapon and an armory bench here if you want to improve anything before you mosey on in to fight Mr. Slag himself. In terms of items at the bottom here, there isn't too much on the ground floor and you'll just want to be using this to get into the final room as this catwalk splits there. Uh, fi one final turret and then you have the choice. You can go up to the roof or you can go through here. The roof is an expert lock but you can get the key when you go in here to visit Slag. This is the main room. Let's go have a look. If you are fast enough, you could save that settler. It's very unlikely though. Now, Jake is over here. Jake Finn is part of Finch Farm. He's been disowned by his father due to joining the Forge, but he had his reasons. If you pass a few speak checks, you can save Jake and tell him to return to the farm. It's optional. You don't need to. All you need to do is get the shish kebab, which is that flaming sword off Slag himself, 
take it over to Finch Farm. He'll let you keep it, plus you get it as a settlement. Saving Jake is just if you want to feel good about yourself. He's also got a wee hollow tape on him explaining his reasoning. And in terms of enemies in here, there are several forged. They won't attack until you finish the dialogue. Uh, which is mainly between Jake and Slag, uh, where you're just trying to convince them. By the way, jumping into any of the forges will instantly kill you. Power armor, no power armor, heck, even God Mode doesn't really protect you from it. It just seems to be an instant kill. Now, the main reason you probably want to come Excellent. here is for this. If, like me, you love throwing grenades, then permanently gaining 15% extra bonus damage with explosives, well, the best way to solve a problem is to make it go away. Awesome wee bobblehead for the collection. Whilst you're also here, be sure to pick up picket fences. This one will allow you to build statues. And if I'm not mistaken, like the giant land ones that you see in the Boston Public Library. So again, awesome. Steamer trunk and several other items in here. Again, you'll have to kill Slag if you want that, uh, if you want that sweet, sweet shish kebab. I should mention, do not let Slag oh, fall God. into the forge. It's a bad time all round. The Shish Kebab is a pretty devastating weapon. I'll show you in action here now. You also get the Rift Key, but it does not give you any way to unlock his terminal, so you will have to go through the Novice Lock, which again should be pretty easy. Reading his terminal will give us a bit of an insight into Jake Finch. Weak. Weak recruits so far, they break instead of honing to an edge. May have to abandon operations in the Commonwealth altogether unless we can uncover a better source. Progress. Met some of our neighbours, call themselves gunners. Stronger, sharper, convinced a few to attempt the trials. They passed and now they're forged. Their leaders weren't pleased, there was some blood, but they saw a resolve they chose to negotiate. Wise. Now word has gotten around about the gang that beat the gunners. Lots of new recruits. Seems we'll be staying in the Commonwealth, after all. Scrap shipments from Dumwich Boars have halted. Sent Bedlam to light the fire under the worms. So obviously, Slag must be in control. Not only the Ironworks, but the Dumwich Boars as well. Another flawed candidate attempts to bribe his way in. But the blade he gave is impressive. I will give him trials. Even if he fails, I'll have something to show for it, obviously, meaning the shish kebab. Testing it out here, it is quite the formidable weapon. Very effective at close range. Honestly, you just would not want to fight anyone that is wielding this awesome looking weapon. So yes, now that you've done all that, let's go into the roof. On a little side note, there was a middle portion of offices where you can activate a wee Patektron that may have made your life a, a tad bit easier. Not, not incredibly, it's just through here. If you unlock him, he will do just some general damage. It is a novice terminal, but, you know, you may need all the help you can get. Plus, he could soak up a few of the hits once you get into the second portion. So, let's go to the roof. The forge that occupy the top catwalk levels uh, will be fairly easy to deal with if you've managed to clear the rest of it out. Some more traps remain in several of the offices, and you could climb the whole way up that. I had a vague memory there was a duffel bag at the top, but unfortunately there isn't, so I'm probably thinking of mass gravel and sand as to why that's the case. Once you do finish all of this, and if you did save Jake, he will lo be located just across the way behind that pillar of the collapsed part of the freeway. Then you walk over to Finch Farm and have a wee chit chat and that'll finish the quest for you. You may also be sent here by Zhao to collect a piece on the bottom level for there be monsters and it's pretty easy. Just set the quest, it'll show you exactly where to lift it at the, uh, the corner. And that covers the Saugus Ironworks. Thank you so much for watching. See you all in the next one.